there, Thralls of Metal. Album review. I am Rin. Miller. Mm -hmm. Necrotic Neck. Municipal Waste. Electrified. Brains. Brain. One brain. One brain. Three. Well, 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 I mean, technically, kind of put together, Vol it's still yeah, one. Vol put together, it's still one, and not really a good one. Yeah, nope. So this comes out on the first of July, kicking off July with a fucking rager. This comes out on Nuclear Blast Records, band formed in two thousand one in Richmond, Virginia, home of a lot of killer metal bands. This is their seventh full length overall, and. This is Municipal Waste, this is Crossover Thrash, and they're still gonna fuck you up. 2001 Virginia? I thought it was 83 San Francisco area. Musically, yeah! You would think. But... It teleports you back. Honestly, Jesus. Municipal Waste is one of the big reasons I got back into Thrash. They were part of that whole Thrash resurgence in the early 2000s, and I just remember picking up their album Hazardous Mutation and was like, Wow, this reminds me of everything that I love about metal and what got me into metal in the first place. And yeah, they've been rolling ever since, and they are back with another fucking banger. And mm -hmm. honestly, for those of you expecting anything different from Municipal Waste, well, yes and no, but mostly it's Municipal Waste. It's gonna be a fucking rager from start to finish. The opening track, Electrified Brain, Kicks off everything with the uh, voltage and maybe an elevator. Yeah, some they screaming. Don't waste any time. As they don't. This song is a banger, and I love the bridge, that bass jam. I'm a sucker for that. And then the end is that riff is just full fantastic. tail boogie. Full tail boogie. I mean, it's what they do best, like flying crossover thrash. There's only like one song on here that's over three minutes long. And that's definitely not the ballad because the ballad doesn't fucking exist. But outside of like what you usually expect from Municipal Waste, which is uh, fast, fast uh, crowd diving, crowd surfing, crowd kicking the shit out of tornadoes of human parts, slamming tall boys on the fucking ground just to watch them explode and go, <laughs> look at that. Cyclones of denim, otherwise known as a great time. Yeah. yeah. Or just a Municipal Waste show. Yeah. There's a little bit of an inflection of heavy metal on this. Now this did show up on their last album a little bit, but I think this one, it's more it's, fine tuned. Yeah, 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 it's for sure. Everything's dialed in really well on this album. They said there's no long songs on here and they don't need it. They're complete songs and there's, the lyrically, there's a lot of lyrics to it. He fills the space very well and he still allows shit to do its thing and jam out, which I love. And uh, it's, some of them are ridiculous. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're awesomely ridiculous. If you don't get ridiculous in a Municipal Waste album, check and make sure the album says Municipal Waste on it. That's because shit. there should be ridiculousness. There's always ridiculousness. Maybe it's an Iron Reagan album. Uh, well, there's still ridiculousness on that too. That's true. Yeah. Like The Last Crawl, I love that <laughs> song. It's like, the, that should be the Metalhead's beer drinking <laughs> anthology song. Just get you going. You're chugging beer That's really the, quick on that oh, one yeah. too. Like that's, Full on Slayer riffage. It's mm. fast, it's aggressive, and of course, there's tons of fast and aggressive on here. But I think there's just like a little bit more nuance to this album. Like, honestly, like, they've always kind of had this formula, and it's just riff first, energy, like kind of punk laden energy, just, you know, uh, destroy something energy. That's pretty much municipal ways. Yeah. But I think there's just like a little bit more melody and a little bit more like fine tuning mm. in terms of song structure. And I think a lot of that is due to the fact that. They really gelled with Nick Polis as their second guitarist. That little inflection of melody on here and these spicy little leads, because none of the leads hang out for very long. Yeah, those boys got chops. Yeah. yeah, and it's a lot of like really awesome short chops and you get enough and you're full at the end. You're the, This album's great. Yeah. yeah, and that alternating between like the fast crossover thrash that you've come to expect from Municipal Waste into like heavy metal bridges, like flat out old school, like mm -hmm. Judas Slayer Priest. Slayer breakdowns. Yeah. There's just great, like, old school Bay Area chops on some of these songs, but again, like, it still stays within that very comfortable wheelhouse of mayhem that is Municipal Waste. This album, I think they had a case of Budweiser and the first album from all of the big four. The yeah. first Talica, the first Anthrax with Neil Turpin. Testament, and they just listened to that and said, okay, let's write the Exodus song. And that was uh, Last Crawl. And then yep. they said, let's write the Anthrax song, and that was Demoralizer. <laughs> yeah. They said, let's write the Suicidal Tendencies song, just to fuck with you. Electrified Brain. 
And you've got a couple of guests on here that kind of add their own flavor. Putting on Airs features Barney Greenway of Napalm Death fucking growling his fucking guts out mm-hmm. to those chunks mm-hmm. of larynx in the studio. And the song ending sounds like Napalm Death. Yeah, I mean, they throw in like a little bit more distance and <laughs> blast it out. Mm-hmm. And then you have uh, The Bite, which is the shortest track featuring Blaine Cook of Accused on there, throwing in his very odd, just kind of nasally vocals in between Tony Foresta's just fucking perfect thrash metal shout. Yeah, it worked really well. And I love in that song in particular how they like kick it up a little bit. They kick it up a notch right before the solo. And one thing I want to point out with this album is the backing riffs on the solos, yeah. although they're short, are fantastic. Uh-huh. They fit uh-huh. the mood and feel and they keep the drive and the intensity while letting the solo do its thing, which is fucking shine. And it's these little great spurts. There's a lot Nothing of key changes over. too. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, one of my favorite things, and it's, it's an old trope too in metal, is isolate a riff a little bit uh-huh. just before you get into like that main breakdown mm-hmm. or big groovy section. I love that because it yeah. gives you a second, like, like oh, oh, okay, oh, I'm gonna it's, settle into that. Hold it's my that. <laughs> Boom, you know? And I mean, Explosive is definitely a descriptor for this album, but also it's just flat out fucking fun. Mm-hmm. Blood Vessel slash. Boat Jail, which is <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's it, it literally what it sounds. And the, the, the opening is a long instrumental versus the song being a short crossover, like DRI style fucking burner. I mm-hmm. got an SOD vibe out of it. Actually, yeah. that would be appropriate too. Acronyms, either yes, way. Yes, uh, just pick three letters. The song is seaworthy and better than anything Ailstorm has ever put out, at least in my opinion. What was that Tarantino, Dust Till Dawn, where it's very, like, <laughs> in the middle? Like, yeah. One movie, it was, okay, it's, like, kind of a drama thing, and then, no, boom, horror movie, just... <laughs> rah, abrupt shifts. Yes. Is that a fucking it's vampire? Great. It's Salma Hayek. It's, uh, it's, I'm okay. Stick your foot in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash it? I don't care. And of course, we gripe on production and shit, but none here. Cause sounds like shit. Arthur, Arthur Risk. No, not true. And it most definitely does not sound like shit. It does not. The dude's got shit dialed in. Mm. Crispy, crispy. But like organic, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, there's the right amount of reverb on mm-hmm. and everything, and it just sounds organic, like yeah. real, like a live show. Enough yeah. saturation to really just mellow it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's... This band, this it fits this band totally because they are a live band. If you like any Municipal Waste album, you will love them live. <laughs> so, so get fucking ready. Yeah, stand in the back if you're brittle. I stand in the back. The last time I saw them, like literally, I think one riff got played and someone spiked a fucking tall boy in the fucking pit. Can exploded and then it was just mayhem. <laughs> I was so fucking proud of Detroit that night. Mm-hmm. I really was. I mean, no one got shot, but, yeah, was, you know. It was a can of PBR. He was out 2350. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, one particular track on here definitely gave us a little bit of Ohio pride? <laughs> Question mark? Nah. Yeah. It's one, as cool as an Ohio yeah. chuckle. It's as cool as the river catching fire. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's right up there in terms of uh, disasters that have happened in Cleveland. <laughs> so there's a song on here called Ten Cent Beer Night. And literally, when I looked at the song title before even listening to it, I was like, I wonder... If it's about a particular event that happened in Cleveland in 1974 at Municipal Field when the uh, Indians played the Rangers, and uh, it was 10 cent beer night. Thank you, Strohs. Wow. Mayhem descended upon that field, and literally it was about that. I think there was even the lines, clear the bench. Clear the fucking bench. (laughs) Charge the field. And yeah, this is a uh, look it up on YouTube. Oh, it's dude. great. Oh, I've it's seen great. it. It's yeah. it's insane. Just yeah. drunk and occasionally naked fans yeah. charging the field, going after umpires, going after players, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, just general mayhem. And there were thousands of them. Yeah. And ten cent beer. Only nine people got arrested. That's crazy. It's because they're all drunk and covered in vomit. No yeah. one's got to touch yeah. them. They're the ones that fell asleep. <laughs> and just like the story, everything about this song is awesome. <laughs> I love this song. The story's hilarious. It, yep. Great job, man. And it's, waste. it's yeah. a rager. I mean, it probably captures both the mood of the riders and the mood of everyone on the field looking up in the crowd and going, Oh, shit. We won our beer. God damn it. Mm-hmm. You said there were 10 cent beers and you're out of them? What? <laughs> They're coming for us, guys. As for any negatives on this, I mean, I suppose the only negative I could say isn't really a negative at all. It sounds like municipal waste. Like, they really haven't changed the formula, but they really don't have to. They have their own fucking 
Niche, yeah. You can call him Pizza Thrash. I don't care. I don't even think that's a fucking knock on him. These guys actually showed off a lot more musicianship on this, I think. But there's still that energy. They might have sacrificed some of the punkiness, but it's it's still instantly recognizable as them. And again, that's not really a knock, so uh, don't count that as a knock. Yeah. The only thing I have against it is <sighs> the vocals get to me every now and again because it, he really has this much of a note range. And that's on purpose because he is telling a story and that's the thrash way. That's kind of a psycho Michael approach, sort of. It's just, yeah, we're gonna shout about something. I'm not really singing. I'm not really yelling. I'm just kind of maybe talking about the crowd so you will listen to me type, type thing. I don't know. But I mean, in this album, they break it up more. There's more, a lot of background gang vocals. There's other guests and that breaks it up for me. But that is, I'm, I'm reaching for, for a bitch. <laughs> it's tasty. Yes, and I agree with uh, both you guys on that too. Uh, about the vocals a little bit, like that scream, shouty, talk type vocals. It's like Tom uh, is not great, but yeah. oh, he's it's, so... Slayer wouldn't sound like it. Yeah. This guy yeah. is municipal waste. Yeah. yeah. So, and again, this is minor fucking yeah, it's shit. Just, it's not really... I love Tony Foresta's yep. voice. Yeah. I love Iron Reagan too. Iron yeah. Reagan's fucking amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Which is why I'm going with a four and a half out of five. That's what I read, because this album was fun. We all had fun listening yeah. to this album. It was a great listen. Yeah. There was things that made made us chuckle. There were things that made <laughs> us remember, like old shit. And we had a great time listening to it. Great album. Good job. Yeah. I'm going to go four and a half as well. This is great shit. It's fun, and the world needs fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, these guys have chops. Oh, the, yeah, the, they do. The production is crispy, and you need that if you're playing this fast. They like to have a good time, so bring the beer, and if you ask someone nicely, they probably got a doobie. Let's go beer. Uh, yeah, I'm going to round this out with a four and a half as well. I fucking love this album. Honestly, in terms of like connecting with the Municipal Waste album, and I, I love all their albums, this is probably the closest that I've got to The Art of Partying, which is probably my favorite album by them, and that was the one that really cemented my fandom. Uh, it's Municipal Waste. They're gonna fuck you up. They yeah. can tell you so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is maybe them with like a little bit more sophistication, but you know, it, they're still like maybe drinking a, like a fucking craft ale this time, except they're still gonna fucking throw it against the wall and set something on fire. So, you know, it's still municipal waste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The riffs are amazing. The lead work on here, I think, Ooh. is great. It adds so much. I love the knots, the heavy metal. It breaks it up well, but all that wonderful shit that you already love about municipal waste is still there. If you hate municipal waste, stay the fuck away from this mm. album because you ain't gonna like it. Not for you. Mm -hmm. But if you love municipal waste, welcome this one into your fucking collection of municipal way stuff because this is a fucking awesome album welcome back guys fits nicely in the rotation so if you enjoyed this review give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel subscribe because we do stuff like this all the time we are also on patreon if you'd like to help us out there there'll be a link down below there will also be a link down there for thrallsmetal.com if you'd like to get one of our kick-ass shirts and miller do you have yes. any news about the festival we are, in denver of death we have a little over five bands cemented in. We haven't made an announcement yet, but Denver Dust Fest is, is chugging along. We're getting there September 30th, October 1st, October 2nd, the Roxy, Denver, Colorado. It's going to be fun. The li list is great. I'm excited. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> yep. We got <laughs> the uh, David Bowie. The Doors. Uh, 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 Elvis. Ring Ringo and McCarthy yep. are going to do the things with the holograms that they do, but uh, I'm saying too much. <laughs> Wait. Like McCarthy, like Senator McCarthy, the guy that tried to... Yes. Oh, wow. The the, 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 the the communist. Oh, my God. Thing. That guy. Wow, how did they know. manage to get that one together? I, I don't know. How did we manage to get that one together? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Strohs. <laughs> Thanks, Strohs. Ten cent beer night. God damn it, Strohs. <laughs> Blame the economy on Strohs beer. <laughs> The beer will be more than 10 cents at the Death Fest, though. Yes, Sorry. It will. No, it won't. Come on. <laughs> bring your friends. No, it will. 10 it's... cent beer night. <laughs> bring your own riot gear. Maybe a board with a nail in it. Holy shit. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, liking, all that stuff. We love fucking doing this, and we will have more for you in the future. We're going to get down to the Pantera ranking at some point. So, yeah, more shit in the future. And with that... We'll catch you later. Ooh.